Time right now, results from the San Diego County District 4 special election are rolling in. The latest data drop came in just about an hour ago. Here they are. Monica Montgomery Step currently has the lead with 41%. Amy Reichert has the second most votes right now at 29%, followed by Janessa Goldbeck with 26% and Paul McQuig with 5%. CBS 8's Regina Yurita is live in Kearney Mesa at the Registrar of Voters Office tonight. Regina, you were able to speak to some of the candidates today. What's the very latest? That's right, Marcella. Earlier today, we talked to all four candidates who say they're ready to work. Now, this selection is especially important because since May, some of those agenda items that require at least five supervisors to vote have been delayed. So a lot of people are wondering who will be the next supervisor uh, who is going to take the District 4 seat. <laughs> As preliminary results start to roll out, many are wondering who will be the next District 4 supervisor. The seat has been left vacant by Nathan Fletcher, who resigned in May following sexual assault and harassment allegations. But I think because it, it, it's such a huge district and because the um, there was so much time left in that term. I think the smart thing to do is let the people decide. Supervisor Jim Desmond is in favor of a special election. He says some county items have been halted because of the vacant seat. In the process, we were right in the middle of the process of hiring a new chief administrative officer. Uh, and that's the person who runs the day-to-day -day activities of the county. The person elected will take part in the hiring process. There are four candidates running to replace Fletcher. Janessa Goldbeck, a Marine veteran and CEO of the nonprofit Vet Voice Foundation. One of her top priorities is focusing on housing issues. The county really needs to take a step forward, do more to build affordable and middle-income housing, make sure that people who are doing great work in our community, like our firefighters, like our social workers, uh, can afford to live in the communities that they work in. I also spoke with Monica Montgomery Stepp, who's a city council member for District 4 and council president pro tem for the city of San Diego. I think I'm right at, at the position in, in my career where I'm not jaded about the work, but I have the knowledge and the experience in order to try some new things. There's also Paul McQuig, a Marine veteran focused on addressing the homeless crisis. Get people off the street, get them into the treatment that they need, and also get them into uh, some uh, better housing. And Amy Raycart, a small business owner who has been endorsed by Supervisor Desmond. One of the things that you can absolutely count on me to do is to get rid of the mileage tax once and for all. It's been the alligator in the water that everybody's been afraid of. One candidate must garner more than 50% of the vote during the primary to assume the remainder of the term that runs until 2027. If a candidate does not meet that threshold, the special election will move to a runoff on November 7th. And results must be certified by September 14th, but those results could be coming in before that date. Reporting outside of the county registrar of voters, I'm Regina Yurita, CBSA. Thanks, Regina. Still a lot of votes to be counted, so we'll have to wait and see if no one gets over, as you said, 50% plus one. We'll see two of those candidates in the runoff. Thanks so much. Be sure to stay with CBS 8 for the very latest election results. We will have more updates coming up tonight at 11 as well.